In 1912, at the German Geological Society, Alfred Wegener presented his hypothesis of continental drift. He described continental drift as the process of continents once joined together drifting apart. While many doubted his hypothesis at the time due to his failure to know about seafloor spreading, another scientist known as Arthur Holmes backed the theory when presenting the idea of continental drift using the theory of plate tectonics supporting the idea that continents move by riding on Earth's lithosphere. Wegener also used similar fossil location to support his hypothesis, as fossils of the same animal and plants are located in various parts of the world. For example, scientists have found parts of a small crocodile freshwater fish known as a Meosaurus in both Brazil and South Africa. Here is a frame by frame of the continent spreading apart starting 600 million years ago. First, we start with the supercontinent of Rodinia. The majority of Rodinia was near the South Pole, with evidence of widespread glaciation shown in some mountains and sides of rocks today. With this being so long ago, there are still many uncertainties concerning location of continents, yet it is thought that North America was beside Australia, Antarctica, and Asia. A little fun fact is that the origin of the name Rodinia also means motherland birthplace, so the start of a beautiful life. Next, we move to 500 million years ago, the beginning of the Paleozoic era. By this time, North America and Europe were separated and not yet joined together. However, Gondwana, Southern Hemisphere supercontinent, that was a combination of Antarctica, Australia, and South America. This was also the time of living things in the ocean, as jellyfish were predicted to have existed since this time. As continents continued to move, we now move to 370 million years ago. We are currently in the middle of the Paleozoic era. At this point, Europe and North America are fully joined together. South America and Africa are approaching North America at this time as well. Insects were roaming around at this time on land, and soon to be up in the sky. We are now going to move to 250 million years ago. At this time, the Appalachia Mountains were forming between North America and Gondwana. This created the supercontinent known as Pan Pangea. Pangea. The word Pangea means all Earth in Greek. Next, we move to 150 million years ago. At this point, North America had separated from Africa and South America. Seafloor spreading was in full swing as the Atlantic Ocean was being formed. From here, seafloor spreading continued to do its magic, and eventually South America and Africa separated, North America and Europe separated, and here is the globe that we have today. It will be fun to see what our planet looks like in the next 100 million years. Thanks everyone.